railway line. It took four and a half billion dollars from China for this railway line. It's from four and a half to eight billion. It is hidden debt. It is not reflected in official books. Indonesia reportedly owes China close to twenty-three billion dollars. Who took these loans? The world. A lot of these loans were given in secret. We are calling them China's hidden loans, and they are burning a hole in the pockets of the borrowers. If China's economy collapses, these countries will all suffer, and that's just part of the problem. Hidden debt hurts all of these countries. Let me give you the example of Indonesia here. Indonesia wanted to build a railway line, so it borrowed money from China. It was a very bad idea. Indonesia is learning the hard way. It took four and a half billion dollars from China for this railway line. The project was launched in 2015. Six years later, the cost of the project has shot up to well over eight billion dollars, from four and a half to eight billion, almost double of what was initially agreed. Now, what do you do? You cannot abandon the project midway. So, Indonesia is dipping into its own state budget to pay for this railway line, and this could be just the beginning of its troubles. Most of the money Indonesia has borrowed from China is off the books. It is hidden debt. It is not reflected in official books. Officially, Indonesia owes China close to five billion dollars. Unofficially. Indonesia reportedly owes China close to 23 billion dollars. That's 18 billion dollars of hidden debt. 78 percent of Indonesia's debt to China is hidden. Who took these loans? Indonesian government entities, and these are very risky borrowings. The loans were given without sovereign guarantees, meaning if the borrowers go bankrupt, the Indonesian government will face pressure to bail out. They will have to pay that money. It's a trap.